top 50 slabs in my collection. Let's go. First book up, Wolverine from the Limited Series uh, in a 9.4. Awesome classic cover there of Wolverine. Great book to start off with. Next up, we got Wolverine number eight, Clayton Crane cover, Blacklight cover, Hulk 340 homage, Infinity Signature in a 9.8. Next up, we got ASM 252, the first appearance of the black suit in a 9.4 newsstand, AF15 homage, awesome cover, awesome book. It pairs nicely with Secret Wars number eight, the origin of the black suit, also in a 9.4. We got linear grades there. Those books go great together. That is for sure. We got a big boy book here. We got ASM 129, the first appearance of the Punisher, also on a cover as well. And a 3.0. It displays and looks way better than the grade for sure. Awesome book to have. Next up, we got Ultimate Fallout 4, the first appearance of Miles Morales in a 9.6. First printing. This book has gone crazy. The movies have definitely helped this book go crazy. It's an awesome book to have. Thankfully, I got it before uh, the book went nuclear. I'm super happy to have that book in my collection. Next up, we got another Spider-Man book. We got ASM 361, First Carnage in a CGC 9.6 newsstand. Awesome book to have for sure. Goes nicely with the next book. We got Venom 3, third printing, first null, first cover appearance of null in a 9.8. Just an awesome cover awesome villain in the Marvel Universe. Next up, we got Venom 200, Clayton Crane, Road Tour Edition in a 9.8, another Blacklight cover, another Infinity Signature, awesome book to have, awesome cover, no doubt about it. Next up, we got a big boy book, Detective Comics 359, first Barbara Gordon as Batgirl in a 5.0, awesome book, awesome purple cover, great DC and Batman book. Next up, we got Batman 189, First Silver Age appearance of the Scarecrow in a 4.0. Great book, great villain, awesome book to have in your collection. Next up, we got Batman 232, the first appearance and first cover appearance of Ra's al Ghul. Neil Adams cover in a 4.5. Awesome book to have, especially if you're a Batman fan. Next up, we got Batman 313, first appearance of Tim Fox in an 8.5. Tim Fox now goes as Jace Fox, the next Batman awesome book to have. We have Batman 386 here, first appearance of the Black Mask. We get some floating heads here. Uh, this is in a CDC 9.2. Pretty nice book, pretty good story as well. Speaking of stories, we got Batman Year One starting here and Batman 404 in a 9.8. Not the best cover, but an awesome book and the best Batman storyline ever written. We have Batman The Killing Joke, probably the best single issue Batman e uh, book ever in a 9.8 first print awesome cover as well iconic cover at least in my opinion next up we have batman 612 jim lee cover in a 9.8 this is in a hush storyline awesome storyline awesome cover classic cover great batman book next up we got batman 635 first jason todd as red hood in a 9.6 signed by the artist doug Mankey. great book great uh, villain just an overall awesome Batman book to have in your collection. Next up, we got Batman number one from the New 52 uh, in a 9.8. This starts the whole Court of Owls storyline, which is one of the best storylines ever for Batman. Next up, we got Dark Knights, Legends of the Dark Knights, number one, first appearance, first cover appearance of the Robin King. This is a 1 of 25 in a 9.8. Next up, we got Teen Titans 12 from Rebirth. Uh, first appearance, first cover appearance of the Batman Who Laughs in a 9.6. Awesome book to have. Came out a couple years ago. This book was going crazy when it first came out. Next up, we got DC Comics Presents 26, 9.4. First appearance of the new Teen Titans. Not the best cover, but a pretty awesome book. Speaking of the Teen Titans, we got the Tales of the Teen Titans, number 44 in a 9.6. First appearance of Dick Grayson as Nightwing. Pretty awesome book right there, for sure. Speaking of the Teen Titans, we get the first appearance of the Teen Titans in the Brave and the Bold, 54, in a 4.0. This book is crazy low. Everyone should get it. Underrated key. First appearance of the Teen Titans. Followed up with probably the biggest book in the collection. We have the Brave and the Bold, 28, the first appearance of the Justice League, 
in a CGC 2.0. This is an awesome book, classic cover. Oh yeah, also the first appearance of Starro as well, which was in the Suicide Squad movie. Great book to have, I love this book. First appearance of the Justice League. We have some more good books coming up. We got some TMNT, TMNT number one, third printing, signed and sketched by one of the uh, co-creators, Kevin Eastman, and at 8.5, again, it's a third printing of TMNT number one. We got TMNT number two, second print, also signed, also sketched by Kevin Eastman in a 9.4. I was kind of mad this was a 9.4. I thought it'd be like a 9.6 or 9.8, but what can you do? Next up, we got Raphael number one. This is the first appearance of Casey Jones in a 9.2. Uh, awesome book. Also signed and sketched again by Kevin Eastman. We also have Team and T, The Last Ronin, number one. One per sore, second printing, thank you cover. Red foil signed by everyone involved. I think there's six sign signatures on that book awesome book i love the last Ronin. great storyline for sure sticking with team and t here what do we got we got team and t adventures number one and a nine four newsstand uh first appearance of bebop rocksteady and krang also first appearance of the different colored bandanas team and t 51 from the current series from idw and a 9.8 this is the first appearance of jenica who becomes a turtle the next book up coming up right here, we got Team and T number 95 and a 9.8 as well. Like I said, this is the first appearance of Jenica as a turtle. The last book was the first appearance of Jenica as a character. Next up, we got Team and T, The Last Ronin, Lost Years number one, Virgin cover by Aaron Bartling. Awesome artist, awesome dude. This is in a 9.8 and it's signed as well. Whatnot exclusive. I love this cover and I love this book. This is probably one of my favorite books in the collection. Flash number 110, the first appearance of Wally West, Kid Flash, and Weather Wizard in a 5.0. I love Wally West. He's the best Flash. I love, love, love this book. This is a book I got this year. Flash number 139, the first appearance of the Reverse Flash in a 4.0. Awesome book. I love the Flash and I love the Reverse Flash as well. Well, next up we got Flash number 197. This is the first appearance of Zoom, Hunter Zolomon in a 9.4. At some point, I would like to get a 9.8. We got Shazam number one, uh, first appearance of Captain Marvel since the Golden Age in a 9.4. Not the best cover, but a pretty good book to have in your collection if you are a DC fan. We got Green Lantern number 20 from the New 52. This is like the first cameo appearance of Jessica Cruz. Also signed by the artist Doug Menke in a 9.8. Next up, we got uh, Power Rangers Dragon New Dawn number one. Cl uh, this is a Clayton Crane cover in an Infinity, Infinity Signature in a 9.8. This is an AOK -okay from a good friend of mine, Carlito Classico. Next up, we got the Burke Fam exclusive from Mighty Morphin number four. Hal Laren cover 9.8 signed by me. And then hashtag Burke fam as well. This is not worth anything, but it's worth a lot to me uh, in this channel for everything that I've done. Next up, we got Team and T Power Rangers. Um, the second printing for number one. This is the one of 10 Donnie Montez cover of the Shredder holding the Green Ranger helmet. And then we got Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number nine. The second printing, first appearance, first cover appearance of Draken in a 9.8. The Evil Tommy from an Alternate Universe. Awesome book, awesome helmet cover to have. We're gonna get into some more helmet covers here. First up, we got Mighty Morphin Power Rangers issue zero, the Red Ranger cover in a 9.8. It is pretty hard to get the whole set, but I think I may have done it here. We got the Pink Ranger here, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers issue zero, the Pink Ranger cover in a 9.8. All of these are done by the artist, Donnie Montez. Next up, what do we got? We got the Blue Ranger cover. Billy, uh, awesome Mighty Morphin Power Rangers issue zero. Also in a 9.8, awesome cover. I love all of those helmet covers. Next up, we got Mighty Morphin Power Rangers issue zero. The Yellow Ranger, also in a 9.8, awesome cover. It's, it's a great book to have in the set. To complete the original team, we got Mighty Morphin Power Rangers issue zero. 
the Black Ranger in a 9.8 as well. That's the original five members, but we can't have all five of them without the next couple of books as well. What do we got? We got the Green Ranger, one of 50 variant for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, issue zero in a 9.8. My favorite Power Ranger of all time, the Green Power Ranger, rest in peace, Jason David Frank. Next book up, we have Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, issue zero, the one of 100, White Ranger in a 9.8. Awesome cover, awesome book. Love the helmet covers like I talked about. And then last book up here is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers issue five, San Diego Comic-Con exclusive in a 9.8. That is all of my top 50 books in the collection. Let me know in the comments section what you guys think of the books, which book is your favorite, all of that and more. All right guys, thanks for watching. And as always, go Cats. Cowabunga, it's Orphan Time.